All right, guys, we're over at Young's Park again this morning here in Las Cruces. And today we're going to be using these little uh, Gulp Alive trout worms. I didn't even know they made trout worms in Gulp Alive. And we have it on a, a, a flick shake rig, which is just a, a wacky rig, but with a jig head. We should catch them because they just stocked a 500 in here this past Wednesday, finally. Before that, they hadn't stocked in like a month. But yeah, we just were going to throw it on a... We have our ultralight Shimano rod. And then we have a... Our Daiwa Reverse Reel with a 10 pound braid on it, and then it's connected to a, a 6 pound uh, co polymer leader with the Alberto knot right there. We're just gonna throw it close to that fountain right there, let it sink. And then reel up the slack and give it a few twitches of the rod tip and then let it fall back down. And most times when they hit it is going to be on the fall. You just have to watch your line straighten out. And with this uh, green braid I have I can really detect bites easily just by watching my line. There's a bite. We got him. He's a little guy, but we got him. On the flick shake. With the trap worm on it. Yeah, and if I didn't say before, the jig head is a 64 ounce jig head. That I got out of a trap magnet package. We had him hooked good, he wasn't coming off. There he goes. We almost lost our trap worm, it fell off. Put it back on. All right, number one. Let's see if we can get some more. We got another one. This one's better. Oh, that time we lost our trout worm. Oh, this is a nice one. Nice little stalker. There he goes. Just gotta put a new trap worm on. 
you get a lot of I don't know how many you get in here but there's a lot got these at sportsman's warehouse for like six or seven bucks and the color is uh, bubble gum I could just come out here and catch a ton on night crawlers, but I think it's fun to always uh, use different techniques. See, I don't know if you can see that trout worm I lost out there, but it's floating. These trout worms float, and that's why you need the weight of the jig head to hold it, to hold them down. Got him. <laughs> He's a big one. <laughs> Man, this is the biggest one of the day. Looks right in the top of the lip again. Oops, sorry, bud. There he goes. Got him. Oh, did I foul hook him? Got him. Dude, I foul hooked him. <laughs> I still count it as a catch, though, because I felt him bite it. <laughs> yeah. Look at your friend, Brandon. Or not. He's like, can I have one? Or are they here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can I have it? Hello, cat. <laughs> you can't have him. He's foul hooked. It wouldn't be legal. <laughs> Cats don't play by the law. <laughs> See, he wants it, Brandon. Give him that little trout. Come on. No. <laughs> All right, guys. We're still trying to get that last fish, number five. The first four came pretty easily, but this fifth one is pretty tough. I really want to get five of them on this uh, trout worm. Got him. Finally, our last fish on the flick shake trout worm. Kind of swallowed it, but we may be able to get it out. All right, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was number five. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, guys. That last one was pretty tough, but we got him. All on these uh, Gulf Alive trout worms. Ah. Ah. 